Again, just rip in. Please don't have it. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sick. Queen. I just fucking check jam the turn with absolute air. What a fucking what on earth? Just check check called flop and then just check jam turn. Right, we're gonna be all in it. I don't wanna be I don't wanna bust. Yeah boy. GG's. Right, nice. Final table bubble ski. We, we, right, go on. Call him. Call him Boston. This guy's a tad. Fucking prick when I see you. I'm a kick in the door. This could be the final table if there's no 10 on the river. I think it's nine handed, isn't it? Yes. We are on the final table, guys. I've made a fucking final table. Look at this. Things you'll love to see. Six of nine, not ideal, but 40 big blinds. Who locks up 376? For a ninth place finish. But I won't exactly be thrilled with a ninth, ninth place finish. But we made a final table on the first stream back. Probably because we started the stream with 15 people left. But 4.6k up top, that would be sexual. Uh, let's, have a, let's have a look at the graph. Been getting flaps about a bit recently. Oh, why is my red line so shit? But I'm winning at least. Kings versus aces. Uh, we'll get a ladder if there's no king. Oh, for fuck's sake. So tilting. Alright, that's less tilting. I swear to God, if we boss now. <laughs> with this hand, I'll be so fuming. Alright, aces on the button. What more can you ask for on a final table, boys? Well, we could ask for somebody to get it in with kings and not river a king. Uh, a screen suited. Uh, if he shoves, we will be calling should it fall to us. Easy call. He's fed a 10 or a 9. That's a great flop. That's a terrible turn. And that's a fucking stunning river. So we're not going out, gain some chips. Get ourselves a ladder. Love to see it. Do we want to open this? Loose, but I think it's alright. I think this guy is going to be the biggest trouble. I don't have a hood set up for tournaments. Um, I've only got a proper hood set up for cash games. Obviously, we're going to be folding. I'm not I'm not going to 3-bet. 3-bet, and uh, I, don't, I really don't like 3-bet. Obviously, we've ran into some shit. I don't even think this guy is going to be too light. He's obviously got a call now. He's calling 8 into 27. He's getting over 3 to 1. Was like. And just did off half your stack, didn't you, son? That's what you get for free betting me, you prick. All right, all in a call. We want Ace King to hold for the ladder ski, which obviously it fucking does. Easy. Move over here. No COVID. Kings. Kings. Pocket Kings. Two of them. We will be through betting now. Uh, I don't really know what size to go for. Right? I think he's going to fall quite a lot anyway. Right, seventh. We've locked up five, four, two. We're starting fourth of seven. Still look eyeing up that uh, 4.6k up top ski there. I will try and run them over. In fact, I'll just try and ladder to second. I'll take 2.3k. That In fact, no, I won't because that's such a big pay jump. All in on a call, Queen Jack versus Ace King. We've got a Queen or a Jack for the ladder ski. Dink. Ha. Easy. Boom. Ladder. 8-5-1. Let's go. Aces. Oh. <laughs> that would have been sick. I realize that I'm breathing. Uh, easy defense. Guy's going to be opening pretty wide. Oh, 
All right, I'm not really thrilled with it. Uh, he doesn't bet turn a lot, so I think we can call it. Now we're just going to just get pushed off our hand regardless. Mm, do I want to bluff this hand or not is the question. I don't think so now. Just hope he doesn't have like fucking ace nine. Like literally like ace nine or ace ten. So tilting. I think that um some pairs, like even like sevens and stuff, can find a call anyway. Especially if they don't have a heart, so I don't think we want to bluff that hand. But it's just really tilting when it shows up with like specifically ace nine. All in and He's not going to 3-bet fold there. Oh my god, is it 3-bet? Like, people are weird, man. All right, we will open this one. I'm not thrilled about it, though. Nine nine nine. Come on. Or 8-8-8. Eight, eight, eight. Uh, I am going to bet this because it wants some protection. He seems pretty uh, fit or fold. This is the sexiest turn I've ever seen. We hope. I think he's going to bet that shove. Um, I don't know if he's even going to bluff when he has missed hands like 10 jack. And we obviously unblock all top pairs, so I think this makes a pretty good shove. Hopefully he has like king, queen, king, jack and call. Fading the snap's good as well, so he probably doesn't have a random pocket queens or something. But we did want to get called. What a good turn that was. It's made our life so easy. <laughs> Queen Jack doesn't play that great though. Queens, on the other hand, plays a little bit better. George, stop. Uh, we want this guy to three bat because he's been three batting a lot. Um, and with a little bit of ICM, we will just shove rather than do anything fancy, like click or just flat. I think this is. Uh, I think we just have to shove it. I think that's the best play. Don't want to get snapped. Lex has named his kid after me. I mean, I know Lex is a big fan and all, but like, I didn't think he'd name his child after me. Calling him Weasel Valdus, yeah, fair enough. Sick name, if you ask me. Guy's a sicko. Thought it was just going to be Bad Rag Valdus or something like that. Aussie man likes putting money in. Right, Steez is relatively tight. Um... Expect him to just have Jack X there and check back. Guess he can have some flushes. Did Flop go check check? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Ace Jack with that size and because Aussie Man's pretty sticky. Ace Jack. Right, at least we have a very easy defend. I don't think I really want a three bat. I don't really want to call him. Maybe we could three bat. Kind of annoying three-way. Um, all right. Dealer, I would like to have sexual intercourse with this turn unless he has fucking aces that suck so many balls. All right. Well, at least it was a nice turn for us to just have an easy decision again. Shame we couldn't get any value. Am I going to stop talking shit about stars if, I, if if they sign me? That's a good question. Was that a bet call? Was that a bet and a call on that river? All right, run break. I'm probably going to have to make a rum and coke. Was it just check down? Oh, this guy does not like to fold, man. Fucking king high. That's That's fucking ambitious. I'm, I'm kind of skeptical about opening here because I think he's going to three bet a lot, but also he's going to peel a lot. Also, we're going to get jammed on a lot. Let's drill a five, please, dealer. Okay, again, um, this guy pretty fit or fold. So when he has king queens, I think even with king queen with the king of hearts, he's just going to fold. So really nice spot to just be able to see back range. Pocket eights, if it falls around to us, that'd be nice. We can just shove. I'm worried about, like, an open here because everyone's so tight, I kind of don't want to shove, but we're still making a lot of money by shoving, so we have to shove. <laughs> but we really need a fold.
Good. How are you flying off this stack, honestly? At least we got a really nice board for us. I guess we'll just put him in, right? We don't have one of them weird decisions where it's like queen high and we're like, Ugh. I don't think we want to check there. We still only have ace high. I think I'm going to shove because I think we have enough fold equity here because he didn't shove himself. And we have an ace, which is always really good here because he's got ICM to consider because of this guy. So I think he can have raised folds. Ace nine, what are you doing? Chop it. Queen. Ah, oh, club. I'll do. What are you doing? Turns of ace, queen. High cards. That'll do. No turn. Ladisky. <coughs> Ladisky. We officially haven't come sixth. So I'm... Actually, I'm not... If, if I come fourth or above, I'll be okay. If I come fifth, I'll be a little bit tilted. But I really, I really want to play this out for the win. It'd be so sick if on the last day of 2020, or the last day, poker day of 2020, that I can outright win a tournament. That would make me really happy. Snap him with sevens. Flipping. That's not what we wanted, but at least he's short. We'll take a seven, though. Nope. All right, he's now shortest on 11 bigs. We have aces. Pretty good hand. I'd rather you just get out of the way. Uh, I'll stack you. Oh, okay. Go on, Poker Frenzy. Bang it in. Oh. Obviously, I was really drunk, and I ended up going home. Queen or a six? For the ladder. Balls in with the resub, man. Six months, thank you. Fuck's sake. So many resubs on my first day back, man. Honestly, really appreciate it, guys. And having 70 viewers is fucking sick. I know we're on a final table, but... Love to see it, guys. Cheers. Cheers, boys and girls. Right, let's try and not punt on this fucking final table. I really don't want to see a shove from these guys because they're so tight. I'm not going to raise fold days, Jack, am I? Imagine. Imagine raise folding to fucking 14 bigs. Right, I'm not folding now. Again, just rip in. Please don't have it. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sick. Queen. So sick. So sick. How is it fucking... How has that happened? Like, imagine just running into aces there. And then jacks. Right, chip in a fucking chair. Let's have it. Oh, hold. <laughs> the sickest of comebacks. Let's fucking have it. Would have boss, by the way, if we'd have shoved then. We're shoving now, though, if Poker Frenzy folds. Oh, such sigh, man. Well, maybe not. Maybe these guys are just going to fucking raise fold. Start three betting boys, then, if they're going to fucking do this. Thing is, if Poke Frenzy gets it in now, he has aces or kings. Surely. Because he's not folding. How do you three bet fold? How the fuck do you three bet fold? Putting half his stack. Are these guys playing against each other or what? Do, we, do I have to go with this now? Because everyone's so fucking tight. I guess I have to. Maybe a fold. Fold. Yeah, boy. Chip in a fucking chair, lads. Let's go. Ugh. I mean, we're supposed to defend. Can we just fold? Because, like... No. Okay, the, 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 the good thing about this is we're very protected. Um, that we have 7x here. Nice. Nice.
I'll end in a call. It's just not ending. It just isn't ending. What the fuck? Ah, it's not running to fucking aces or kings again. Hold. Yes, we got fourth and we fucking got a stack. We sat in second again. The swingiest of tables. This will be the sickest comeback you've ever fucking seen. I was feeling the 10 on the river, you know. I was feeling the 10 on the river. Really glad it didn't come. I would have been fuming. Imagine like pina coladas. Yeah, that's a nine. We are going to fold. We're not going to have many raised folds because of the price we're getting, but Jack 10 off is going to be one. Should have just been raised. Multiway, I still think we want to defend. Obviously, we're getting a really good price. Top two is a pretty fucking good flop. Ten of spades on the turn. That's good enough. We take that. We don't mind just winning that with 100% equity. We're now the chip leader. So we don't mind just taking that on the turn just with 100%. Fucking let's have it, boys. Sevens versus ace eight. Ace on the flop. Down to three, boys. 1.6k locked, 4.6 up top. Call. 22, nearly 2 to 1. Call. Fuck. It's even out, isn't it? <laughs> Reasonable flop. Reasonable turn. Because I just, oh, well, Jesus Christ, let me have sex with this flop, please, dealer. Oh, my God, have you ever seen a better flop? I don't know how often he's going to have Jack X, but, like, maybe he's just going to have, like, an ace. So I'm not sure what kind of size I want to use there. I think I just want to go relatively large and hope he just randomly has a jack that he's checked. So we'll just go basically pot. Maybe he's going to call something like ace five of diamonds anyway. Don't think I want to shove. All right, we'll take the, the pot's pretty decent, so we'll take that. I think we're just going to shove for 30 bigs effective air. I think that's the best thing to do with sevens. Hold. Oh, fucking let's have it. Heads up, boys and girls. Fucking heads up. All right, well, ICM 3.4k. 3.8k, that's pretty big. So you can't leave something to play for. I kind of want to play it out, that's the fucking problem, but I also really don't want to play it out and then come second. But if enough people say fucking play it, then I'm going to have to play it. And seem worth it, though. I'll be risking 1.5k to win fucking 800. <clears throat> Alright, let's fucking see if we can just win it. This is your fault, boys. This is your fault. Too many no deals in there. Could be a good river. Could be a terrible one. Mm. 
Yes. Come on. Oh, what is that size in? I was going to fall about jam. <clears throat> the size in, I guess we'll call. Feels a uh, thingy. Either way, we get fucking 2.3k. I'm actually pissed, by the way, boys. I'm legitimately drunk. Uh, this is a nice flop. I'm definitely going to double, probably just about 100% of turns. <laughs> I don't like the turn of space, though. Plus, either way, man, like 2.3k, that's the absolute worst that we can do is 2.3k. And that's pretty fucking good. So, I mean, I've made profit today. That's fucking, that's something. <laughs> Or he'll have more, is what I mean. Definitely going for a chat raise on this one. It was a really good turn. Uh, do we call here? I think we call. Oh my god, 100%. Let's fucking go! What a day. What a fucking day, man. What a fucking day. The last day of fucking 2020. Boys and girls, cheers, man. Honestly, fucking happy new year.